Bote. My name is Paxton. The world is awesome. I'm here to help you know and care more about the world beyond the USA. Today's date is June twelfth, twenty twenty one. Oh, by the way, did you catch Temba's Kid Lines? It's Black Community News for Kids on Thursday. Check it out at littlenewsears.com. Our first kid line is Portugal is having a bike boom. What's a boom? It means people are buying or making lots of something, and in Portugal, it's bikes. The same thing happened in New York City last year, if you remember. A lot of it is because of the pandemic. People want to stay away from public transportation, so the country's bike-making factories are building more factories and hiring more workers. Our second headline is: Fifteen elephants in China are making a long march on their own. Nobody knows why. The elephants have traveled 300 miles across southern China since March and、um, caused 1.1 million dollars of damage so far. They're big. They break things. Our third headline is: A volcano has erupted in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Mount Nyiragongo erupted in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo last Saturday. At least 8,000 people have escaped and gone into Rwanda, the country next door, for shelter. It's serious. Our heart goes out to everyone who has been affected. Our fourth headline is: A woman punched a crocodile in the face in Mexico to save her twin sister. That's right. Georgia and Melissa Lawry were swimming in a lagoon near Puerto Escondido, Mexico, when a crocodile grabbed Melissa under the water. Melissa was unconscious in the water. That means it was like she was sleeping. Very dangerous because she needs to breathe. Georgia pulled her out of the water. The crocodile attacked, and Georgia punched the crocodile in the face. It went away. We don't condone violence, but in this case, Georgia must have been really scared and stressed. Our fifth headline is. New Zealand is a mum on China, but it might have to pick a side. Ever heard of the Five Eyes? That's the name of a partnership that started in the Cold War. What's the Cold War? That's the period of time when the West countries in Western Europe, the U.S., Australia, etc., were enemies with the Soviet Union, which used to be what Russia was called, and Eastern countries under communism. It was cold because each side wasn't hurting each other in the open, but were using spies and other secret ways to hurt the other. New Zealand is a member of the Five Eyes, which is also made up of Australia, the U.S., Canada, and the U.K. The problem is that the U.S., Canada, and the U.K. are rivals with China. New Zealand is a big trading partner with China. A third of all its dairy is bought by China. So New Zealand has to be careful about what it says against China. And our question of the day is: Where did a volcano erupt? Is it A. Rwanda, B. The Democratic Republic of Congo, or C. New Zealand? And the answer is. B. A volcano erupted in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Thanks for listening to World Headlines with Paxton. There's lots more cartoon video news for kids at LittleNewsEars.com. We're also on YouTube and major podcasting platforms. May your sweetness shine and your colors glow. Sources for today's headlines include 
The New York Times, CNN, and The Guardian.